good afternoon from Jackson in his outfit to go to the boathouse. We're headed to the boathouse for some lunch. And this is what Jackson's wearing. Looking cool. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he is. Now he's got the hiccups, though. Oh, no. It was a bit touch and go on the way here, but we're here now. He's seeming okay. Did you get his sunglasses? We put him in the bag. Let's put him on him. Also, we brought his paddle to get the date of his birth inscribed in it. Yeah. You'll be official then. <laughs> we went all out with his theming, too, because we're going to Boathouse. So we've got this milk snob cover that has sailboats on it. It's perfect. He's actually wearing a turtle outfit right now, but originally we had planned on putting him in like a boat outfit. Well, he had a special outfit that he was gonna come home from the hospital in that had little sailboats on it, but he grew out of it already. And he's already too big for it. Yeah, so the outfit that he's in is a three month outfit. He's a big boy. Big boy. But that's still a water animal, right? Yeah, a turtle, yeah. Yeah, so we're still on theme. We are on theme. <laughs> he's, uh, just to keep you guys posted, he's over 12 pounds now. No, he's like really growing really like quick. Yeah, he is. And then he grew how many inches? We haven't measured him recently, but the last time we measured him, he had grown uh, two inches. Yeah, big boy. As we're passing by Planet Hollywood, I noticed that the Planet Hollywood store is closed and it says hatching soon. Looks like they're expanding Chicken Guy over here. And they have already expanded the outdoor seating area of Chicken Guy over in front of the store. Passing by the Columbia store and they have the Mickey Mouse gear. This is really cool looking. Online, I didn't notice that it's like a performance shirt and that the graphic of Mickey hiking is kind of see-through. And you can see they have another graphic behind it. And they have a couple of other shirts and sweaters and stuff like that in Mickey colors. And then this is the raincoat that we want to get for Jackson right here with the Mickey ears on top of it. Just all depends on what size they got. It's so funny to be in Orlando when the seasons change because you don't really notice that it changed. Like the Christmas tree's gone. All the Christmas decorations are gone. Totally forgot that this was covered with Christmas decorations oh gosh, like earlier that. this month. Yeah, it was like a few days ago, wasn't it? Well, yeah. earlier this month. When was the last time we were here? I don't know, it wasn't that long ago. It really wasn't. So they did it quick. Also, it feels so nice out right now. Yeah. This is the perfect weather. Like whatever temperature it is right now, I wish it could be like this every time, like all the time. Where did we eat? When we were here last? Yeah. Homecoming. Oh, yeah, you're right across from Morimoto's. Yeah, that's right. I'll put that video in down below if you didn't see it. The food was so good. I will never, never get tired of how nice it looks here in Disney Springs. I remember when this place first opened. We did a video of it. I wonder if we can find that and put it in the description down below. It's very nice. And there it is. There's the bubbling spring. I like that there's a backstory behind this. This is the springs, Disney Springs. This is all fake. And then this was the old ice works that would take the, the water from the springs and turn it into ice and sell it. All, you know, backstory, everything around Disney Springs is a town based around the springs. There's a fake backstory. And then you can kind of see here in Morimoto, if you look at the very top of it, it actually says Springs Bottling Company, because that's supposed to be in the backstory, not in real life, where they would bottle the water from the springs to sell. Oh, what's going on here? Irwin Pearl, looks like it's closed right now. I wonder if they're doing a remodel in it or if something new is gonna be moving in here. Over here, Vivoli El Gelato or Mardi Gras. They've got a king cake shake. Look at how ridiculous this thing is. It's a milkshake with an ice cream cone in it, as well as a cinnamon roll. And look at there's the little baby on the top. I kind of want to get this. What flavor is it? It doesn't say what flavor the gelato is. Yeah, maybe you get to pick. Oh, on the other side, they've got a shake called the Dark Malt Shake, which kind of sounds like Darth Maul, right? Is this a Star Wars based milkshake? Maybe. What's it got? Chocolate gelato, chocolate chip gelato, strawberry sauce, chocolate malt balls, lady fingers, waffle cone pieces, whipped cream, and black and red sprinkles. Yeah, I'm going with like the Darth Maul of milkshakes. Oh, here's something else that's new over at Joffrey's. They now have mini donuts. That's really interesting. Assorted mini donuts available in packs of four. Options may vary, so you do not get to pick what options you get, or I guess the options that you can pick may vary. What is this? Is this like Captain Crunch here? There's some Captain Crunch donuts. Here we go, we're going into the boathouse. Another one of our favorite restaurants in all of Disney Springs. What do you think, big man? This is your first trip to boathouse. Are you excited for it? Raise your hands if you're excited for it. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's a quick look at the menu. Pretty darn good looking. Oh, what are you gonna get, Jen? I don't know, there's so many things. I can get all the fish I want. I know. You could have literally any fish you want. <laughs> and you could have a pina colada? No, you can't, I just, that's what's saying it, playing on the, 
playing on the radio. Ooh, these filet mignon sliders are so good. Also, the burgers are good, too. This Sandwich King one was not my favorite, but it's not bad. I did like this classic one and the barbecue bacon burger the last time I was here. Ooh, man. And then uh, they have some like daily specials. You get some Florida stone crab claws, some fried green tomatoes, surf and turp, red grouper, wild cop mahi mahi. Wow. Oh man. And uh, a lot of hoist, a lot of oysters too. Oh, this Lucky Ducks one. You tried that before. Yeah, so we'll link that video down below. It was really good. Thank you. They it just brought us out some bread. Ooh, yum. It was for what? The fall festival thing. The fall the paint. fall festival food crawl. And it was like a champagne uh, oyster. Right? Is that what it was? Yeah. It was good. It was really good. I wanted to show you the rolls a little bit closer up. They're all covered with honey and they're warm. So some nice, easy to spread whipped butter. These are so good. Mm. Think of like yeast rolls. They're like so fluffy. Remember when Denny's had yeast? Was it Denny's or Shoney's? I think it was Shoney's. Ooh. Yeah. We used to go to Shoney's just for the rolls. One day you'll get to eat these rolls, Jackson, and we'll pass on our love for carbs to you. <laughs> there it is, an Amphicar out there. We've done this before. I highly recommend doing this at sunset because it is beautiful out here and it starts to get a little bit cooler. Like right now might still be a little bit too hot, but very soon it'll be the perfect time. There's also all these boats around. I think all these boats are owned by one person too. There's just like a wakeboarding boat over there too. You can go down and get like real close views of these boats as well. They're just all unique boats. Jackson, do you love the water? Look at him looking out at the water. He's like, look at this, look at this water. He wants to go swimming. A little water baby. So we had to take Jackson out of the stroller because he was getting a little grumpy, but check him out. He's like totally asleep, grabbing onto dad's shirt. I wonder if he'll like sleep in the stroller now. Maybe we can try it. Do you want to try putting him in there? Maybe, give me like five more minutes. You just want to hold him because you love him so much. Yes. <laughs> this is my favorite Jackson when he has his little mouth open and he's totally asleep. He just looks so peaceful. Ooh, the food just came and I got the seared ahi tuna. It was coriander seared ahi tuna with blistered shishito peppers. And they put a little Mickey on my plate. I think that's the sriracha and the mayo. But this looks so good. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I was gonna get so much tuna. And then you got the barbecue bacon burger. Look at that. Holy macaroni. And these french fries look so, that bacon looks good. What else is on it? Like a jam, oh, barbecue sauce. That would be the barbecue sauce. And then these french fries look so delicious. I love it. No, they look so good. Are they super crum super crunchy? No? Still delicious? Okay. And then we have the little sleeping baby. We actually put him in the stroller for a second, but he woke right up. He's gonna be sleeping here for a minute. Yeah, he was not having it. One day he'll love the boathouse. One day. I'm gonna steal one of those french fries too. So I wanted to show you my plate. This is such a delicious ahi tuna. The, the back, sorry I'm doing this with my left hand, but the back is like completely crusted in the coriander. It is so, so good. And then here's the blistered shishito pepper. And there are also some like uh, seared red peppers as well. This is delicious and it's super light and it's a smaller meal. So this is something like if you're trying to be a little more healthy, I would do this. It has a teeny bit of spice to it, but it is so good. And there's also this uh, soy lime sauce, this like dressing that's underneath. I love every single bite of this. So good, super tender. And my french fries have been delicious so far. I know. Still waiting to eat my burger. I'm letting Jen. Well, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take him here in a second, so you can do. We're gonna eat in shifts, okay? That's how our life is now. Right, little babe. He's totally asleep, but every time that we put him over here, he just wakes back up. So we're doing it in shifts from here on out until he's 18. So my burger, I've gotten about halfway through it, and I think that I would have preferred it without the slaw on the bottom. Like it tastes, it has a good flavor. The barbecue is good, the bacon is good, the actual meat is good. And then the slaw kind of like muddles it a little bit. So I think if I ordered this next time, I would order it without the coleslaw. He was also eating it with a knife and a fork. Oh yeah, so I was eating it with a knife and a fork so that just in case, it's like, cause Jackson's asleep right now in the stroller. So if he like wakes up and I need to like, ah, let's get this baby. 
then I don't have like barbecue sauce all over my hands. So we brought the paddle, if you guys remember the paddle from his room that says the adventure begins, so we could have them engrave his date of birth on it. Well, and I'll put the video where we actually got it uh, in the description if you want to see that. Yeah, and so we handed it to them before dinner, and ever since then, the machine's uh, windows have been updating. Oh, really? And so it, it, <laughs> when I just went in there, they're like, it's been updating this whole time. It's at 21%, and I was like, Whoa. we'll come back a different day. That's crazy. Yeah, Windows 10. Oh, is that the, the engraving machine? Is like a... Yeah. Oh, huh, it's like a laser. Yeah, I think so. Right? I think so. Yeah. It's either a laser or it's just like a little router. Oh, okay. Like a CNC machine? Yeah, it might be a laser. But yeah, there it is. Our, our paddle dreams were ruined by Windows. Windows? Thanks, Microsoft. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. <laughs> so now that we're sitting here, because you're feeding Jackson right now. Oh, yeah. What did you think of dinner? I thought it was so good. Yeah? Yeah, it was really like much more tuna than I thought I was going to get. I didn't think I was going to get two whole tuna steaks. I thought I was going to get like little sliced pieces of tuna, you know? Yeah. Um, and it was the, the crust on the outside was delicious. There was like just enough of the flavor that it wasn't super overpowering. I still got the like the taste of the like fresh fish. Yeah. The fish was delicious and super fresh, really tender. I really liked the um, the soy lime like little sauce that was underneath and it went really well with the fish and the coriander like crust. Yeah. And I like the shishito peppers. They weren't spicy or anything. They just had like a nice, almost like a sweet pepper flavor. Okay. And there were also some red sweet peppers in there as well. Nice. But I loved it. I would totally order that again. Yeah. I really like my burger. It was uh, just like a basic barbecue burger. It had beef, bacon, barbecue sauce, and then the, like I said, the coleslaw. Could have done without the coleslaw. It, I don't know if it was the burger being so juicy or a combination of the burger being juicy and the coleslaw, but the bottom bun, oh. completely soaked all well, the way through. But you also had to wait a while to eat your food. Still so would have been soaked though. Gotcha. So I think if I ordered that again, I would order it without the coleslaw. Or maybe you could put the coleslaw on the side and then you have a side of slaw. Oh yeah. Yeah, but the french fries, I had some of the french fries, really good. Delicious. Love a good french fry. So, so far, we love Homecoming, we love Boathouse, yeah. and we love uh, Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill. Oh yeah, yeah. So good. Those are our tie and, and uh, Wine Bar George. Yeah, I was gonna say there's those another Those are our one. top four. So if you guys are coming to, to Disney Springs, mm -hmm. those are the four that you guys should like, go to. At least check them out Like if you're looking for just like a nice sit down place to take your family or just like, and some of them do lunch too. Yeah. But really good. Now we're on the lookout for a little bit of dessert. Oh yeah. We might do that king cake shake. It just looks so ridiculous. We have to try it. Right? All right, we're totally gonna get the the king shake. So here they're starting to make our king cake shake and the flavor of the gelato is king cake. Like, I wonder what that is. You think it's cinnamon? And they said that the king cake gelato is like a cinnamon pastry. So I'm excited to taste it because it has a cinnamon bun on top and an ice cream cone and a baby. So Tim wanted me to show you this Nutella bomboloni. So it's like a Nutella filled donut with I think cinnamon sugar on top. It looks really good. And then look at these cookies. Holy cow. Oh, peanut butter chunk cookies. These are all, they, it looks like they're all about uh, Nutella over here. You got a Nutella brownie. Oh man. Cannoli too. What is it, a Nutella cannoli? Yeah. Oh, and look at this the king one. Cakes that we're getting. But what is this? A peanut butter cup. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks awesome. Oh, I love these little raspberry tarts too. They're so cute. Oh yeah, but this is the cinnamon bun that's going on top of our shake with the little baby. We know who gets the baby though. Oh no. Look at this Nutella s'mores panini. So it's Nutella, graham cracker, and marshmallows in a panini, like in a sandwich. A bombolato. Oh, so it has gelato in gelato it? Gelato inside. Your choice of gelato and that a warm awesome. Italian donut. Wow. And then this is uh, leftover from the holiday season. But it looks a so peppermint good. peppermint cannoli. Wow, we have to come back here. I don't think we've ever actually come in here and ordered anything. They also have something called a waffagato, which is a waffle avocado. 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 <laughs> so this was $17 for basically three desserts. Yeah, that makes sense. You're getting three desserts in one because you're getting the milkshake, the ice cream cone, and the cinnamon bun. Yeah. And you get a baby for free. A little baby. Look at it. His hair looks like Jackson. <laughs> what do you think of it? It tastes like cinnamon bun gelato. That sounds kind of good. I thought I dripped into my sock. I know it tastes pretty good. Yeah, it tastes like 
It tastes very like fall because it's cinnamon. There's like little chunks of something in it too. I think it might be like the cinnamon bun, like little chunks of it or like chunks of cinnamon pieces, but it's really nice. If you like cinnamon, I think you'd really like this. And you can share it with your whole family. Oh yeah, okay. It tastes exactly like I thought it would taste. It does taste like a cinnamon roll. Is this just full of whipped cream? Is there no gelato in here? I don't actually, I didn't get into that part, so I don't know. I think it is just whipped cream in the in the ice cream cone. Oh, look at that, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh, it's a little bit harder. Oh, oh no. A little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. All right, let's try this little cinnamon roll here. That's good. It is exactly just like a cinnamon roll. That's really good. I think that's my favorite part of the whole shake. Well, aside from this guy. And what do you what do you do with the little baby? Whoever gets them has to make the king cake next year. Oh no. Admittedly, I think I would have liked this better if it was just like a regular milkshake. It was kind of a little bit too too crazy, you know what I mean? And it melted too fast to do an Instagram photo. <laughs> so like so wait, 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 would you have liked it better without the cinnamon bun and without the ice cream cone? Yeah, I kind of just wanted a regular milkshake. So there was no gelato in the ice cream cone, right? I don't, well, I'm not really sure because I don't think it was a full ice cream cone. I think it was just like the outside of the ice cream cone with the bottom broken off. Um, so because we they, we're like, were able to put the straw all the way through. So I think it was just like a, like a half circle of ice cream cone. It's just for decoration. Yeah. Okay. But you can eat it too. It is starting to pick up as far as the crowd goes. Time to be nighttime at Disney Springs. It's like a party out here. It is a party out here. Look at us. It was beautiful. Look at that sunset too. Disney Springs is very picturesque at night. All right, we're gonna see what the smallest size of the raincoats that they have inside the Columbia store are. Well, this is gonna go into storage for quite a while. This is big. What size is this? Oh, it's a four five. So like a four or a five year old would wear it? Is that what it is? I think that's what it means. I think so. But this is um, the smallest size that they carry. We wanted to get one for Jackson, but that's a very big one. Yeah. I don't know if we should do it. By the time he gets to wear it, it'll be like way, way, way vintage. I do like this though, how it's like, can you see how I was talking about earlier that it's like a see-through fabric oh, and there's the a design thing. behind it? Kind of hard to like see on camera but there you go that that kind of shows it a little bit better oh okay that one's a lot smaller than the raincoat so what size is that four, five. those are both four or five yeah and then he's on the back oh yeah it's really cute can you imagine him wearing these i can for when we go to when we go to utah in the snow yeah we should do that so we were looking at the adult ones and we noticed that the vents on the inside of the raincoat are little mickeys are those hidden mickeys i think they are because they're on right? the inside so does it look oh yeah you can't see it unless you actually open up them yeah those are hidden mickeys that is legitimately a hidden mickey <laughs> there are so many little hidden details on this how adorable is that Aww. he's like i love the rain i feel like i want to look in every pocket of this jacket just to see like what else there is Will you put your hood on too? Look at you, you look like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> look at us. I already said that tonight. <laughs> they have some winter Star Wars wear too. Like nice, warm, waterproof, like ski wear for when you're on Hoth. So we made it home. Uh, Jackson was very tired at the end of the day and he got like, he was just overly tired in the car. Well, I feel like he used to love being in the car. I say used to, he's literally like a month and a half old. He's right. not, he hasn't been around that long, but last week he liked being in the car. Yeah. And he'll probably like being in the car next week. But I, I think what's happening is, I think we need to go out with him earlier in the day. Yeah, and, and next week it probably will change. So hopefully he'll be better in the car next week. Yeah. Keep our fingers crossed for that. I think so. Still a fantastic day at Disney Springs. Well, I just like that we can take Jackson with us. Yeah. And I also like that I get to go. Yeah. Because I can't go to the parks with you until we can take him. Right. So it's definitely um, exciting that I get to like get out of the house and go have fun and still kind of be in the Disney atmosphere. Yeah. Which I love. And Boathouse was delicious. Boathouse has always been one of our favorite restaurants at Disney Springs. It's so good. Yeah. We originally had a plan to like eat at Boathouse and then go get on a boat and go over to like, like Port Orleans, just like be on a boat with Jackson because that seems yeah. like it would be fun. 
But uh, the day kind of like progressed to being later than we wanted it to be. Well, because I have to stop and feed him and, you know, it takes, everything takes longer with the baby. Yeah. Which I know, obviously that makes sense, but it takes so much longer than I thought it would. Yeah. So we just, time got away from us. Yeah. But we'll definitely do something like that next time. Yeah. We're going to try to do these like little date days once a week at least. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So. so, but I had a good time. The food was delicious. If you guys have been to the boathouse and you've had something that you like absolutely love and you think we should try it, let us know in the comments below. Cause I've really only had like two or three things from the boathouse. Cause I always kind of order the same thing. Right. But today I ordered something different when I got that, um, uh, the seared ahi mm -hmm. and I'm so glad I tried something new. Yeah. It was really good. I got a burger. I didn't try anything new. No. Well, you it was still get good. A burger. Still delicious. <laughs> But all in all, a fantastic day. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're the Samuels family from Gilbert, Arizona. And now it's time to pay the price. price.